I'm loving the math hat. I have to wear this as just a rule of thumb. It's it's important that you rep make America think harder every single day, especially considering the times that we live in. So I'm always wearing this. I love That's that. Awesome. I love that. What is the story behind the math hat? We ran into a little bit of an issue during the campaign where there was a pretty big dialogue happening about how far Andrew Yang's kind of jokes about his Asian-ness went. And one of the things is that we just put math on the hat. Isn't that funny? The Asian guy who loves math, but it actually stands for something as a counterbalance to the Make America Great Again slogan. Like mm -hmm. here, we want to have a stark contrast. I think a lot of people kind of wound up on the idea that math is just cool. cool. It's a cool thing to wear on your head. It is. I love that. I yeah. love that. And it's so recognizable. Now, whenever you see somebody with a math hat like this, you know immediately what it's about. You know what they represent. And you know that you can have an interesting conversation with them about policy. I mean, or they just really like numbers. Could be. Could be. <laughs> either one. Yeah. Especially here growing up in the South. Uh, if I see someone with a, a math hat, I immediately know that's someone who I want to kind of gravitate towards. You know, maybe up in New York, exactly. you can run into these hats a little bit more often. But these are rare where I come from. Yeah. You know, I've, I've been seeing them around New York and also, you know, seeing the, the Yang campaign uh, banners uh, all over Brooklyn. There's definitely been a lot of positive response to his message here in New York. It's definitely resonated, especially in the creative community, which is where 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 we come from.